The free organ plugin AZR3 is one of the few free organ plugins that is also available in 64-bit and it has a great realistic sound and it even has a rotary speaker simulation. So let's check out this great free plugin. The 64-bit download of this free plugin is quite difficult to find, but we found a 32 and 64-bit Windows links and a Mac 64-bit on the internet. The download is a zip file and when you open it you will see a PDF manual and the DLL file you have to copy to your VST plugin folder of your computer so your DAW can find it during startup. When we started our Cubase Elements 10, the plugin got blacklisted, but there is a possibility to reactivate the plugin and Cubase might have made a mistake, and in our case the reactivation succeeded. It still is listed red in our plugin manager, but it works. Though you might get some warnings or unexpected behavior during playing and recording, it's a bit unstable, so save your work regularly. When you start the AZR3, you see three drawbar sections. The left one is the upper manual and connected to MIDI channel 1, the second is the lower manual, connected to MIDI channel 2, and the third on channel 3 is the bass. As you see, the first and second have nine drawbars and the third has only five, which should be used for the bass. The drawbars can be pulled down, in this case, to hear them, and like on a normal Hammond organ, you can play around with it. The most left drawbar is the 16 foot, which is the lowest sound. If you draw the white ones, 8 foot and 4 and 2 and 1 foot, you will hear that they are all octaves of the same note. The black drawbars are different intervals of the notes you play and if you combine them, you can create some great organ sounds. On our website we have some links to some useful drawbar explanations and settings. The second section and third section are meant to be for the lower manual and the bass pedal. On a real Hammond organ, you always see these three sets of drawbars. Left of every drawbar section you see two buttons, one for the sustain, which makes every note sound longer, and one for the percussion. The length of the sustain can be set above the first section. You see a rotary knob with sustain. Sustain is mostly used only for the bass. Also there you see the click controller, which adds a great key click to the sound. At Bender you can set the amount of notes it should bend when you use the pitch bend wheel. And shape, where one is a pure sine wave and moving up to six gives you more overtones in the sound. Above the next section you see the percussion settings. The first controller sets the register of the percussion used. The next the volume of the percussion and the percussion fade where you can set how long a percussion should sound. The next section has the volume controls of the three different sections and the master volume. At the bottom you see a valve section where you can set the distortion of the sound and the button next to the name switches it on and off. And most important, the rotary speakers where you can set the slow and fast speed of the high and low frequencies, the belt sets how fast it will change from slow to fast, the spread makes the sound more wider in stereo field and there is a small complex button that makes the sound, as it says, more complex. And a switch that allows you to use the MIDI pedal on your keyboard to switch from slow to fast just by pressing the pedal. If you do not use the pedal, you can always use the modulation wheel of your MIDI keyboard to switch to fast and slow. A hidden section is the vibrato. Just click on the voice button at the side. Here you can set the vibrato of the upper and lower keyboard. 
there's one little button at the top. If you click on that one, you can split the keyboard so you can use bass left and the upper section on the right side. Just click on the button and press a note and there the split will be set. The AZR3 comes with over 20 presets and of course you can make your own. So let's listen to some of these presets now. More information and links to the downloads can be found on our website. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep you updated. Let's play some organ.